Roger Raveel, de pionier van de nieuwe realistische school in Vlaanderen, gaf het alledaagse een tijdloze, universele betekenis. We zien drawing en we zien painting. We zien de drie primaire colors. We zien yellow, red en blue. There are different kinds of white here. There is painted white, there is white of, of the canvas, unpainted. There is white opposed to yellow or white opposed to blue. That makes a difference. But it has a lot to do with the perception of how materials are very often transformed through the light that they get. Roger Ravier was born in 1921, and he was often ill when he was a child, and um, sitting in the waiting room of the doctor, he drew a lot. And one of these drawings was a, was a brilliant self-portrait and was recognized. The mother of Ravier was then encouraged by these reactions to, to support her son to become an artist. Every painting, every drawing that Ravier has made is about what he sees. And since he was most of the time in Machelen and Delay, that's what, what we see in his work. Anything is worth to be painted or, or drawn. So the subject really doesn't matter. That is very typical for Ravil. He was a painter who really liked it to have people around him when he was working. He was really a showman always, <laughs> and when he did that, could, could really act as a... Uh, Once he just had made a painting in his studio and, and he was looking at it and he said, I had to lie down. It was so overwhelming, it was so... <laughs> but he always said that in an ironic way, but he meant it. Roger Raville is, for me personally, someone who I admire as an artist and who I also admire as a human being. He was very concerned about environment, about nature, and he undertook actions, artistic actions, to make people aware of what was going wrong. Ravil was uh, certainly in, in the 50s, someone who was like doing something completely radically new. People first said that he was crazy, he was like in the, the, the local artist. But gradually, with, with the years, it became more and more accepted, but it took a long time. Until his last days, he was really saying that he was not recognized enough. And I think he was right. Uh, there are many, many paintings of Raphael that would have to find their place in, in museums, in the really big art centers of the world. <laughs> 